G'day folks, I'm Yagi-san, I am the curator of the Bustling Valley mod list for Stardew Valley. This is a Wabajack based mod list and it's designed for a much bigger Stardew Valley experience. In this video we are going to go over the initial setup and initial installation of this mod list. To begin with, obviously you will need Stardew Valley. You will need either Stardew Valley on Steam or Stardew Valley on GOG. Other releases such as Game Pass will not work. For the purpose of today's video, I will be using the Steam release of Stardew Valley. Next, you will need a Nexus Mods account. If you have already got one, fantastic. If you do not have a Nexus Mods account, there will be a button that says register. We want to register for an account. A free account will work, but should you wish to try some of the other mod lists, or if you decide to install mods for other games, you will find a premium account will make using the Nexus Mods website a lot more pleasant. So now that we have installed Stardew Valley from either Steam or GOG, we want to load the game. This is for two reasons. Firstly, to make sure that the game is actually working on your system. And secondly, because we need to click on the settings icon and make absolutely sure the game is set to English. Many of the mods, especially the dialogue mods in the Bustling Valley, are not translated to all the different languages that Stardew Valley supports. So, once the game has been set to English, please quit Stardew Valley. Next, we are going to go to install Smappy. Smappy is the mod loader for Stardew Valley. The Bustling Valley mod list will not automatically install Smappy and it will not update it. You will need to do this manually. Thankfully, this is a very easy task. We're going to download the latest version of Smappy. At the time of making this video, that is 3.13.2. So, I've already downloaded that to my X drive. We're then going to extract Smappy. We can see there is an install on windows.bat file. Please double click on it. As you can see, it has detected the Steam release of Stardew Valley. So we're going to agree with that. We'll type the number one. We want to install Smappy, so we're going to type the number one. That's it. Smappy is installed. Smappy updates reasonably regularly, and when you start Stardew Valley using Smappy, it will tell you if it needs an update. When you are updating the Bustling Valley, it is always good practice to double check the Smappy website to see if there are any Smappy updates as well. Finally, we are going to go and install Wabajack. This tool is needed to install the mod list and to update the mod list. Download and install Wabajack to a convenient place on your computer. In my case, I have installed it to C drive slash Wabajack. Remember, you will need this tool to install and to update any Wabajack based mod lists. I'd like to stress that this tool does not include any of the mods 
which is why we had to set up the Nexus Mods account previously. Start up Wabberjack. Wabberjack will automatically update if it is needing one. If it does, let it do its thing. So here we are on our first installation of Wabberjack. We're going to click on the little gear icon up the top. We're going to click on login next to Nexus Mods. And we're going to follow the prompts to connect Wabberjack to your Nexus Mods account. We will need to do this so Wabberjack is able to download from the Nexus. We only need to connect this once. Wabberjack will remember the connection each time you start up Wabberjack. Today we're doing our initial installation of the Bustling Valley, so we're going to click on Browse Mod Lists. There are a lot of mod lists for many different games. So we're going to come up to where it says Game, we're going to click Down Arrow, and we're going to search that list for Stardew Valley. Aha, huh, here it is. The Bustling Valley. We're going to click on the little play icon for Install Mod List. It will load the Bustling Valley README. This has a lot of important information. You should read this. Come back to it and read it after we finish the installation. So this is the installation screen. In the bottom right corner, we have an explanation of what the Bustling Valley is. Sometimes an upgrade will require a new farm and if a new farm is required, the description will clearly state that a new farm is required. Next, we need to set up our installation location. I will be installing this to xdrive slash wj slash tbv. And we need a download location. Do not install this to places like program files. You want to put it in a special directory. C drive slash WJ, X drive slash WJ, something like that is much better. Now, this downloads folder is important. We'll have a jack will store here all the files that we downloaded to install this mod list. So if we need to reinstall the mod list, it will not download any files it already has. Uh, I have overwrite installation checked. This is used when upgrading. As this is our initial installation, it doesn't matter, but I will leave it checked anyway. If you have a Nexus Premium account like I do, we will only need to click one button and the installation will begin. If you have a free account, you will be prompted to click the download button for each mod in this list. Let's begin. As it begins downloading, it will randomly show a selection of mods. Now, I have a reasonably quick internet connection here, so it should take approximately three minutes. As you can see, we are almost finished. Now, there are a few particularly large mods. So, depending on your internet connection, it may take you know, five, ten minutes. If you were using a free account, you would be required to click the download button for all 157 of these mods. Uh, this is a small mod list for a Wabberjack based list, so that is doable. But if you were using some of the other games, you'd be strongly advised to invest in a Nexus Premium account. These particularly large files that we're looking at at the end here, most of these are additional NPCs and villages. And 
pretty much the uh, meat and potatoes of the bustling valley to make it actually bustling. The actual mods being highlighted here, these are all highlighted randomly. Uh, so you will see a different selection each time. Okay, and it looks like our download is finished. We're now beginning the installation. This will go considerably faster if you have an SSD. And we are almost done. I'm installing this onto a RAM drive. So this should be finished very quickly. And there we go. Once again, it loads up the README to make sure you read it. But as you can see, we have finished. The installation is complete. So we're going to click on close. Now, remember, I installed this to X drive WJ TBV. We're going to look for an application called Mod Organizer. I will double click on Mod Organizer. This will bring up the actual mod list. See so it's set to Smappy, lists our mods, and we click on, and we have run. We click on run, that will start the Bustling Valley mod list. Now it can be a little bit annoying to keep looking for this location. So we can right click on Mod Organizer and we can select Create Shortcut. Okay, now let's rename that to something a little bit easier to understand. Name I will call you uh, Star to Valley Dash TBV. Okay. Now, shrink you, shrink you, and I will now grab that shortcut and I will drag it to my desktop. I will hold down the shift key where it says move. I will let go. Now I will close TBV folder. I will double click on the shortcut. Fantastic. We are good to go. This is the initial installation. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one, which is upgrading the bustling valley.